welcome back to Kobe Tuber, and today we're going to tell you guys on how to pretty much have a bunch, like a humongous armor rating and a bunch of damage on one of your weapons. So look at this. Um, that is 3,839,130 for a helmet. Th yeah, you, you get the point, okay? But, um, so I did not use mods at all. I play on PS4 right now. And this is all my really good stuff. My dragon scale armor and stuff. And so here's my push into fortify smithing, which is what I used to pretty much make everything insanely huge. Got some so first, out here. what you're gonna need to do is get your alchemy to at least 30, and I will show you how to do that. So first, if your alchemy is already at 30, then you should be lucky. Put as many perks as you can into alchemist. Put a perk in a physician and one, one in Benefactor. You're definitely going to need Benefactor for this. And if you want a faster way to get your alchemy up really quick. Oh crap, she's locked. Okay, so if you killed her already, then don't sweat it. You can get your alchemy up other ways. But this is just the way that I do it when I start a new profile. Okay. So what you need to do is not be afraid to pickpocket. So here, what you do, you say, "I like trading in alchemy." Pay her the money that she wants. Come back anytime if you as long as you have enough money. Quick save before you pickpocket, and then go ahead and pickpocket the money. So I'll just take this 100 gold once I quick save. And if you are confused on so what to do, ask her for trading in alchemy. Pay one time so you don't overdo it. Could be a taxia. Go behind her, pickpocket, and steal the gold. Like this. Problem back home See, I soon. actually got it. So, after you, you do that, Helpful. and you trained alchemy five times, then if you're not leveled up already and you can't train in alchemy anymore, go outside and white run and pickpocket random people to get to, uh, get to a higher level. And so, then but you just ask her training alchemy again. And keep on doing that till you get to level 30 in alchemy. And then put all the perks that you can in Alchemist, one in a Physician, and one in Benefactor. Okay, so that is how you would start it out, okay? You'll find tonics, Next, sass, what you're going to need to do is go to Solitude. So once you get into Solitude, you'll probably need about 2,000 gold to do this. Um, are they even open? They are open, okay. So you go into this place, Radiant R Ramiant, I think is how you pronounce it. I don't know. And 2,000 gold should be enough to do this. Um, okay, so what you're supposed to do is talk to her and then buy, go like, what have you got for sale? And look through her apparel. And if she has anything like for Fortify Alchemy, 100% take that. If you don't have enough money, then I guess you could like pickpocket her, get money. Or you could um, go outside in solitude and then pickpocket people. For money, I've already got the enchantment for alchemy, so that's good. So after doing that, what you're gonna need to do is get palace, a helmet, a pair of gauntlets, a ring, and a uh, necklace. He sleeps with his eyes open. So once you've got all those, you're gonna need to have four of the same kind of soul gems. So you you can't do like three common soul gems and then one. Uh, grand soul gem have like four grand soul gems or four petty soul gems and yeah okay so you need to enchant your uh, your four your gauntlets your helmet your ring and your uh, where is it your necklace enchant them all with alchemy like creative potions are 9% more powerful enchant four items just like this um, I forgot to name this one one, so it'd be easier to do this. So after you do that, you are going to need to get a couple of ingredients. You're gonna need to get something called an Abasian Longfin, a Cyrodelic Spade Tail, and Salt Piles. And let me show you guys on how to get an Abasian Longfin and a Cyrodelic Spade Tail. You'll need to go to Riften. So once you get here, there's this like lake thing over here. 
and inside this lake there is like a basin long fence and sour elk spade tails is what you're going to find and the way to find them is that they're, they're like right below the water look i already found a basin long fence. i found two of them um oh i need this uh can i have it there we go okay so you're only gonna need like three of each item so i already have three of us uh, a saturday looks or i have three racing long fins i think and i'm going to show you guys on how to do a duplication glitch right here okay so once you get into white run turn around open into skyrim okay so once you get out who is training go right here i already have a follower you're going to need a follower for this and make sure they have the dialogue i need you to do something i'll be right here then. so once you get into this weird little square place go to your items ingredients and drop everything that you need to duplicate so say if you've got for example nine snowberries if you drop all nine of them then it's going to glitch out and only give you one snowberry instead so drop one by one like that and so you go up to your follower still standing here ask Fine. her to do something what? What? If usually you'll drop stuff in a circle, so if there's like a big circle around you, stuff that you're wanting to duplicate, ask her to wait right in the middle of the circle. That it? Oops. You're someone. Fine. What? What? Ask her to take all of we'll the stuff do. on the ground. We'll do. Well, I like to do to be to be organized. Make her wait there. We'll I go into white run, and as soon as you get into white run, turn around and go back out. I do not know if there is a time limit to do this, but I usually don't wait around to find out. Okay, so once you get out here, you're going to need to go back into the place where you dropped everything, and there should be most or all of your stuff back here. Sometimes an item or two will fall through the world. So go up to your follower, trade some things, Take all of your stuff that you dropped from before, and that's how you do do the duplication glitch. Right so once you get probably about thirty of each thing, of um, thirty basic long fins, you don't need thirty side elk spade tails, but you can if you want. Thirty salt piles. Okay. So there is to make your weapons and armor really powerful. The way to do it is to have a, or a, maybe even more than one. You need a blister wart. And a glowing mushroom, and that's how you make a. Sorry, a fortified smithing potion. And to make a fortified enchanting potion, you're gonna need a blue butterfly wing and a snowberry. Okay, fortified enchanting pretty much will just make everything a lot better with enchanting wise, so like. Prices would be like 3000% better or 3 million percent better. And before you do all this glitch, make sure you don't overdo it. Like right here is actually I'm surprised about my game didn't crash doing this. But if you overdo it, your game will crash and it's probably crashed for me like thirty times. And so make sure not to overdo it. Don't drink a bunch of potions at one time, you will mess it up. If you were to get armor like this, like seven million six hundred seventy eight thousand two hundred seventy one, do not enchant it. Well you can enchant it, just don't enchant it with like the fortify enchanting potion that's really good because it, your game will crash. Okay, so after you have enough ingredients, then go ahead and go to Dragon's Reach or any place with a alchemy table. So once you get into Dragon's Reach, you're gonna need to go up these stairs and turn right to this place. You might see him, I don't, I don't know like if you will. Those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. Okay, I don't care. So go to your alchemy lab, make sure you have all the stuff that you favorited equipped. And so my active effects, I already have the Fortified Alchemy, super powerful, so I don't have to worry about it. So for you guys, it should only be like 9% more powerful, and it's like that. So make sure you have them all equipped. Go in here, pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something. make a potion to Fortify Restoration. Your, your potion might only be like 50%, and after that, you unequip all this, and I'm not going to do that. 
Go into your potions. Drink your potion that you made. And then re-equip everything you have. So, if that didn't make sense to you, then here, let me show you again. Make a potion to fortify restoration. Unequip everything in your favorite menu. Go to your potions, drink the potion of fortify restoration, and then re-equip everything back. And then make another potion and pretty much just repeat the entire process. So, you'll eventually, eventually reach a potion like this, and once you do, you can go ahead and drink that potion, and then re-equip your stuff again, and then go into your alchemy, and then you just make a potion of fortify smithing, or a, uh, what's it called, sorry, potion of fortify enchanting, and that's how you make your stuff like super powerful and everything like that. So. I made a potion to fortify smithing to make everything a lot better. So, once you're done with that, done making your potions and things, go outside. And before you do this, make sure you go into your active effects and make sure nothing is negative. If it is negative, your game will mess up and you don't want that to go. Go ahead, happen. So, what I do is I'll just fast travel into White Run like that. And as soon as you go into White Run, you can either make your uh, armor really strong or your weapons really strong. So you just go ahead and drink your potion of Fortify Smithing. Got some good pieces. Make your armor super good with a workbench, or make your weapons super good with a grindstone. And so that's how you, you pretty much be completely invincible in this game. And if you want to have like millions of magic, millions of health, millions of stamina, then do the fortify enchanting thing. But whatever you do, don't do the potion of fortify smithing and fortify enchanting on the same piece of armor. It will mess up your game so bad, your game will crash, and if you overdo it and it saves after you make your armor, you will not be able to go back into your profile. So be very careful with this. Don't overdo it like I've already said. So, thank you guys for watching, and I hope this worked out for you guys. If it doesn't, go ahead and ask a question in the comments below, and I will make sure to try and answer it. So, like and subscribe when you can join the fish army. Anyone who watched this video is now a fellow shark slayer. Nobody likes sharks, especially when you're fish. Okay.
Yeah. Um. Thank you all for watching once again. Make sure to turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. And I hope you guys all have a nice day. Goodbye. Don't worry about a thing.